Hello, hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to a bit of a um, announcement data news uh, video for Stormworks Build and Rescue because they just dropped the trailer not too long ago for the new DLC. They seem like I'm a little late up, but I'm making videos. So I'm going to react to it. But first, we're going to watch it, then I'll react to it, and you'll get my thoughts on what's going on. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. I'm going to start out with the video. We'll watch it, and then we'll go back, take a look at it. Here we go. Okay, there you go. We have it. We have our trailer. It is space. And holy crap. Like, I was on stream on Twitch, which you can always find me there. You know, uh, Arcadius Test on Twitch. Um, anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, somebody came up, it's like, it's space. And I was like, nah, it's not a very high chance. I already said they weren't going to be doing that. And then he's like, well, all the stuff they're talking about is towards the same elements that you need for space travel. <clears throat> I was like, well, yeah, that's not wrong, but it's also needed for deep sea. Because I thought it was going to be deep sea related. And then he comes out and watch the video. And yes, it's like, holy crap. It, oh, that, that was from my last video I was working on. Uh, sorry. But I was like that's not and then he was like well if you go down to the countdown timer it's space themed and i'm like excuse me well it's not the first time they've trolled us in such a manner i was like and then i got thinking it's like why was there even a countdown i don't even remember there being a countdown timer for the weapons dlc or the industrial dlc and I'm sitting there thinking, you know, like I think it's like, you know what? Maybe the chance of it actually being, um, you know, that a space DLC isn't so far fetched. And uh, you know, I still only gave it like twenty, you know, like a twenty five percent chance. So, uh. Yeah, so let's take a look at the footage again, and let's see all the stuff they added to this. Okay, now we're back in here. 
I'm going to go over it, and I'm going to take a look at the stuff that I noticed. I did watch the stream as it was apparently repeated, <clears throat> and they talked about it, and I'll go over any the stuff that I heard. If you want to see my reaction, you can go, again, to twitch.tv. There, there was a stream I did for Ar Armor Core 6. I split it, and there's two chapters. The second chapter is the part where I did about Stormworks and the uh, thing. So you can jump straight to that for that chapter and be able to watch it. <clears throat> so, for the time being, at least at the point of this video being made, <laughs> if you come in later. All right, now we're going to react to this and you're going to get my thoughts about what's going to go on here. So, let's do this. So yeah, when I saw this, it's like, okay, nothing really out of the ordinary here. And then, spacesuit? Saturn V escape capsule? And I believe they said this was going to be the liquid, uh, there were actually liquid engines in there. Now, it's, it's not just solid rocket engines that we have, but actual liquid engines. And you see... Now, my question is, was that a training facility underwater? I think that was. <laughs> uh, hold on, let's go back. So yeah, the... Uh, yeah, this right here... Whoops. Looks like it's going to be a liquid control... You know, a liquid fuel rocket. And that's what they're showing off here in this testing part of it. And you can see him in his space suit back here. And... I mean, it looks cool, and I'm betting it's going to work pretty much like a jet engine overall. Like, the controls and all that. But they already did say there was going to be compressed hydrogen, there was going to be compressed oxygen, so you can make the, you know, the fuel for this. Nitrogen is going to be a thing. Because when they were doing after the trailer, and I was watching this stuff afterwards, you know, it's, you know, they I saw them looking at stuff, and it did bring up some of that data. <clears throat> Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> Up here, these tanks. Now, are those actually gonna... Oh, are those are those new prefab tanks? I mean, those could be built tanks, but that looks really circular. Like, too circular, so to speak. To be, you know, built by a player. <clears throat> Because those kind of look like they could be um, the new tanks that they said they were going to, they talked about adding. And you see they got the, yeah, they got the two stuff coming up. Uh, they have a dial here and here. Maybe that's for output? Huh. And now we've got the scene of the gantry. I'm not seeing anything that really stands out. Like, they got some logic blocks here. You know, they got the hard points. You got underwater training. I mean, they did say they're gonna, some of the stuff is gonna affect uh, the regular dynamics. Like, they said fluids, fluids are going to get changed to represent some of this stuff. I just, I, I remember when I originally saw this, I, I mocked them because I thought, oh, that's going to look like they're swimming. No, I just realized now that they're actually underwater for training. Uh, oh, popping sound you heard was me being a little excited about it. Yeah, no, that's, it's just, yeah, it's a gantry. I don't see anything really special about it at the moment. They got solid booster rockets. Why is that one wheel not turning? <laughs> that would bother me. I would want to retake the scene. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know if you saw it. Let me see. Notice. So they're adding new nozzles, too. According to the, at least where I popped in the street. They're adding these new nozzles. And they're not going to be very powerful, but they'll work really well in the case of being able to do RCS movements. So they'll be great for causing. I can see them actually, if this is working here, I can see people using this on aircraft, like hiding it and using an aircraft to help them turn better. 
and other stuff like that. Maybe even for missiles and, you know, ballistic missiles and such. I remember there was somebody who actually made a jet engine version of that on the workshop a while back. Of that device right there. <laughs> I got everything loaded up. Launching! Separation. Now! Oh, 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 stop, stop. Now, here's the thing. You don't completely see it. See, there's the little exhaust ports from the RCS. But it looks like we're going to get a um, a new control block. Probably for, you know, for uh, six directions. Or for the AVA controls. But either way, that looks like a new block for controls. Because there's a little con joystick. Unless it's like an altered uh, com um, instrument panel. To allow for more options. Or it might be a similar to the instrument panels. Or, here's another thing, it, what I'm about to see, or it could be a whole unit that gets added onto by blocks. It could be a new seat in general, in fact. It could be just a new seat and not an individual control block. And you'll see more what I, I'm talking about in a minute. Because you see over... God dang it, the light starts shining in the moment every time I pause. Okay, yeah, you see here, this is the EVA craft that... I believe they're using and you can see his feet like right here and I'm assuming these blocks are kind of representing are like right here off the left side of this guy's screen so there might be a seat in the middle and I think yeah it might be just a seat that's kind of more like a modified bed wait 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 hold on <clears throat> Now, they did say in the stream that there is going to be only two places. Basically, the Earth and the Moon. That's all there is right now. And I don't know. They'll probably add stuff more later. I don't see why they wouldn't. <clears throat> but the thing is, is that, you know, planets round. The Moon, which they will show, is round as well. Because I'm also going off what I saw in the stream. But what I was looking at, I was like, wait, was that red? Because you see, here the planet's blue. Were they representing a color shift or what? Because that was red back there. <laughs> uh, this. Now that could be just the dark side of the planet or whatever. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. The microgravity. Sorry. Yeah. Showing the... A, you know, lack of gravity. Oh, oh, oh. They were showing, they talked about this, a communication dish that they were adding. Um, I mean, I don't see anything else that stands out. So, we've seen that, we've seen the nozzles. Hopefully they redo the pressure sensors. So that they're more useful and they can actually show more data. There it is. Z moon. Z moon moon moon. Now the map is flat, but they did say the tiles are gonna wrap. So and what I saw on the stream was pretty damn cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Something I want to point out. So, okay, there's the temperature sensors. Uh, I guess we need a different angle. Uh, that up there, I'm trying to figure out up in the top, you know, more like top middle. Uh, on the left side of the satellite dish. Is that, is that a new sensor? Is that just, that might be just an air ram too on something. So, but it does stand out to me at least.
I like the idea of hopefully, you know, space missions. I can't tell if that's a new light. It would be nice if there was a new light, but I'm pretty sure that's a standard spotlight. Um, yeah, the wheels look pretty much the same. Lunar works. Stormark Space. Why could they? I, they could have came up with a better name for the thing. They could have said Stormark's Lunar Works, or you know, well, okay, maybe not Lunar Works, but. So yeah, that's pretty much reaction to it, and the stuff I noted and pointed out. Like I'm sure there's more that other people have noticed and seen. Uh, I did watch, like I said, I watched the stream after I did my Armor Core Six stream, and there was. There definitely was some cool stuff they showed. They talked about more about what was going to be added. They said they're going to, you know, they talked about reducing the drag in space or in the air. So higher up you get in the atmosphere, less drag. So vehicles could potentially go faster. Holy crap. They talked about using the compressed gas system, the blowout ballast still. I mean, they covered a lot of the stuff. And some of the questions that were going on. And my only thing, though. However, is I never saw anything that showed workbenches on the moon. And that, for me, is a big... Like, I'm going to get it, because, you know, my thing is... I do videos on Stormworks, right? Right. And I stream Stormworks, amongst other stuff. So, it wouldn't be right to not have that stuff. So I'm going to have it, so to speak, I should say. And no, we're... I don't know. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. There's a lot of changes that are going to come to the game because of this. Especially because they said they're revamping the fluid system to take into account for the compressed gases and such. And a lot of stuff is probably going to get broken. I mean, seriously, a lot of stuff that uses fluids as a main source of anything, propulsion, is going to get broken. And we're going to have to come up with ways to make sure that, you know, take care of those issues. Ugh. So, but you know me. I'm going to be on Twitch, Arcades Test, that day. And it's going to be coming out October 12th. 10-12. October 12th. At least that was the date they give, so, and I will probably be doing a stream that day. And I will be trying to get into space before the end of that stream. I will be trying to land on the moon. Whether I get back from the moon is a completely different question, but I will be there. And you feel free to join me there on Twitch. So, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun and interesting. <sighs> Whole new more explorations. And they did say they're having, like, space-specific missions. They were going to have stuff there for that, and that was going to have to get added. And the thing is, they were talking about new Lua add-on stuff, and it's like, you guys don't exactly make it easy for people to add stuff. Oh, at the same time, I think I might try to do something about helping with people figure out how they can add stuff to the game for it, and yeah. Because I want to be able to, like, mine on the moon. I want to be able to carry equipment up there. I hope there's a bench up there. Because I'm already thinking of modifying my career miner here that I'm building on stream. If you ever want to visit me there. And modify this to look like, you know, maybe the armadillo from Armageddon. <laughs> you know, the Bruce Willis movie. Wait, just, is this right throttle? Yeah, it's right throttle. And because I'm already thinking, and I was asked this, you know, on the re on the stream I was watching, like, how many Death Stars are going to get on the workshop within, like, the first day? Like, even now with this announcement, how many work Death Stars are going to appear on the workshop? Like, <laughs> somebody went to see how many there were currently. Uh, you got, you got the Death Stars, you got the, um... 
yeah, the, the Death Stars, Halo, Star Trek. Oh, God. It, it's going to be a question of what's more on the workshop, Star Trek? Or is it the Death Star? Or is it the Titanic? Is it the Enterprise or the Titanic? Because if you go on the workshop and you just look up Titanic, there's a butt ton of Titanics that aren't... And that 50% of them even aren't Titanics, probably, so... Ah, uh, yeah... This is, this is just gonna get interesting, to say the least. So... Whee! Uh... Because I would love to be able to use this thing up on, you know, up on Lunar Service. Because I made it with, like, a, you know, kind of a inspired by that type of stuff type of suspension system so it already goes there <sighs> so all i gotta do is literally just convert this thing to work up there and it'll be fine yeah yeah i mean they were talking with the engines liquid you were gonna have to they were gonna give you an electrolyte electrolyzer system so you can create oxygen and hydrogen from water like wait as like does that mean you also have to desalinate it for fresh water? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I would not be surprised if the oil update was actually, like, to emphasize some of the stuff that was coming for this. Like, a lot of the mechanics that I recognize in there, I recognize a part of the oil update and some of these more recent industrial updates as, like, ways to test out the mechanics without actually giving up the mechanic to the players so ah uh, yeah so that's my thoughts uh this is just uh this will be wild it'll be fun so it'll definitely be interesting to say the least all right guys so that's pretty much it that's my thoughts that was my reaction uh so yeah hope you had a good time Hope you enjoyed what you watch. You know the deal. You know the spiel. This is Arcades signing out. Have yourself a good time. And uh, even though I didn't say it earlier, because I was just thought I already did. Remember, if you enjoyed this, remember to like, subscribe, all that fun junk. Leave a comment. Helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Have yourself a good day.